changed again. <laughs> what up, guys? It's your boy, Matt, from RamseyVoice.com, and I am so excited you're here because if you're here, it means that you are ready for some amazing reactions, and uh, I just couldn't be more excited about it. So today, I'm going to be reacting to a singer that I have never reacted to before. Uh, she goes by the name Ernie Zakri. She's from Malaysia. She's 28 years old, uh, as far as I know, and she's singing a song called Ku Bersuara. I have no idea whether I'm pronouncing that correctly. Go ahead, correct me in the comments. Let me know. Speaking of comments, I want to give a pre-show shout out to what we call our high note section of the class today to Mr. Steven Sparks. Uh, Steven said, wow, this is nice. Someone who really knows music. I like the two minute tutorial. And in case you're not familiar with my channel, make sure that you watch until the end of the video because at the very end, I'm actually going to break down one of the techniques that the singer that we watch is using so that you can learn to use it in your own voice. How great is that? Because the whole reason that I'm doing this is so that you guys learn how to sing better. By the way, if you want to improve your singing voice today, check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. We offer personal feedback, the only singing course out there that includes personal feedback and a proven system for improving your singing voice but without further ado let's just jump on into this with uh miss ernie zakri so it sounds like we're in e minor or at least the the rev up music is in e minor so far interesting we're seeing some stuff from... Okay. Looks like a lot of news. A lot of scary news. Whoa! Up to a B4 up there. E5 up to a G5. But what does she look like? We have no idea what she actually looks like. You know what this reminds me of is uh, like feeling good and like I put a spell on you, like that old school. Oh yeah. She's got such a beautiful command over that. Ah, over that B4. Love that. Yeah. Up to the E5. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? Almost sounds like a Bond theme, too. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful. And so she's got that ah, like the little riffs and runs that she does too. I like how she softens on that. Ah, I know that she can sing it strong too, just like that. <laughs> but I like that she has choices. She's got so much control, so much presence. Yeah, love that. 
God, what a mix. Whoa! Hey! Key change. Oh yeah, she's got everybody. We've transposed to the key of C sharp minor. Oh, we changed again. Now we're in F minor. And I just want to point out that every time we change, she's moving higher in her voice. Yes. Ooh. Oh my God, what a performance there, guys. I know exactly. Uh, what I want to talk about here because what Ernie's doing here is she's doing a really really great job of playing with dynamics So today I want to spend just two minutes talking to you about dynamics Dynamics are basically a fancy way of saying volume in musical terms now when I talk about dynamics and singing We were talking a whole lot about um, uh, Ernie's uh, e5 notes right in that she would sometimes ah, And then sometimes she went and going really strong. I probably just blew out my microphone. And you'll even notice that there are a couple of times in this. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, right there. That's a perfect example. Listen again. You can actually tell that she's blowing out the microphone slightly. There's a little bit of distortion, uh, not distortion as a, in a vocal effect that's uh, being added onto her voice, but she's actually blowing out the microphone. Like if I go, ah, 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 like you'll hear that my microphone blows out if I actually don't uh, keep a good distance from it. Now, what she's doing is super cool because sometimes she'll sing that really, really light and sometimes she'll sing it very strong. Now, if you want to do that, I want to give you just a really, really simple exercise to show you how to improve dynamics and give you more choices in your vocal singing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an octave repeat scale on a mum, 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 just like I'm saying mother because she's doing a whole lot of which is kind of like a uh or an ah uh kind of a sound. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that top note four times. And for every repetition, we're going to add a little bit more volume like this. Try it with me. You can see that you're adding more on each time. And that'll give you a really, really good idea about how you can play around with the volumes in your own singing so that you can sing a ma, but you can also sing a ma whenever you want to. And of course, that's the entire point, to have as many options uh, in your singing as possible. That's the entire point of doing vocal training. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really, really enjoyed this performance. I can't wait to see some more of her. Go ahead and leave a comment with what you loved about this episode, what you loved about this performance, any new singers that you want me to react to. Uh, I read them all. Thank you, guys.